China's property market is in free fall. What does this mean for the world's economy? Let's look at it. Hello, my name is Shobia Clinton. This is Counting the Cost on COTV, your weekly look at world's business and economy. The sector is dangerously overheated. But unlike 2008 financial crisis, the global ripple effect is likely to be limited. The property sector in Chinese economy has always been something of a puzzle. At its peak, it's accounted for a quarter of a nation's economics output broadly measured. And it sees people in Beijing and Shanghai paying house prices similar to those in San Francisco and New York, despite having a quarter of the income of American buyers. Now many believe that we are about to see a violent contraction of the property market in China. The government wants to intervene a carb speculation and rein in what it calls three high problems. High prices, high debt, high financialization. The approach has been nothing short of dramatic. Financing for property developers has been tanked. Earlier this year, property sales declined by as much as 20 to 30 percent. In progress, developments are not being completed and people have taken to the streets, banding together to stop mortgage payments on such projects in protest. Many of China's largest property developers are failing to repay their debts. Even the survivors are cash strapped and in liquidity crisis. The risk is that the property market crisis will drag the broader economy down with it, hitting the suppliers, small and medium-sized companies in construction as well as the household consumption. And dangerously, the banking system has its at least quarter of its assets in property. What is currently needed is a backstop to self-fulfilling crisis. The belief that the property developers will be insolvent impulse buyers to hold off their purchases and financing to dry up. The government would need to offer much more relief to the property developers, despite their past unscrupulous behavior. And to break the cycle, the government will need to send a much more stronger message and to instill confidence. And that's the end of the episode. Signing off, me, Shobia Clinton.